Hey, thank you so much for checking out the tools page on my website here. I greatly appreciate it. Let me give you a little bit of the background and the vision that I had for this because it's a little different than you might expect. So to start, this page is not an exhaustive list of every single web design tool and WordPress tool and business agency tool. That is absolutely not what this list is. I didn't want to do that because that doesn't seem very differentiating at all. I, it, it, I don't know how much value that really would have provided you because I would have just been listing tools and that would have been silly. So instead, what I wanted to do is I wanted to create a place where I could say every tool that I have used specifically, personally, I mean, again, this is my personal website. So in doing it that way, it gives me a lot of extra opportunity to provide what I think is more value to you. I can list all the tools that I use now and in the past, and I can give you my actual recommendations and opinions on them. For instance, if I don't use a tool anymore, I could tell you why it was good at the time and if I outgrew it or if something happened, just giving you my honest experience with it. And then you can take that, look at other sources as well. I would encourage you to look at other people's reviews and of tools and things like that. And then you can come to a decision on your own based on all that data that you have now. So if you're on this page, you're just looking for interesting tools about different like categories or based on pricing models, you just wanna search for a tool, you can use all the filters in the sidebar there. That'll work perfectly. You definitely find what you're looking for that way. I wanna make a quick note about I would say phase two of this concept of on my website here of tools, and that is what's called blueprints. You may be familiar with the concept of a like blueprint website. All that really means is that if you use the same tools every time, you have a blueprint or a template of your website with plugins and themes and all that that you just copy and you make a new one. Well, I took that concept and I modified it into a different way and kind of just extended it, and that's what you see on the website now. So here's the reasoning behind blueprints. The reasoning is because I've used hundreds of tools, right? So you could come to this website, you could see this page, you can you know, search through the whole grid and you could maybe find what you're looking for, perhaps. But I think a lot of times, because I get this in YouTube comments and direct messages all the time is, hey Mark, what do you use for your website blueprint? Or what do you use in your agency? Or what do you use to create content? And I wanted a place where I could just kind of grab all of those and put all the tools that I use currently in those sections or blueprints in this case. So to summarize, there's two ways to learn about the tools that I use. You could either just look through the tool grid, filter accordingly, depending on what you're looking for, and that's one way to absolutely do it. The second way is to go take a look at a blueprint. And a blueprint would be specifically a situation or a part of your organization or a part of your website that you're really interested in looking, hmm, how does, what is Mark's blueprint for this type of situation. And then from there, you can decide if you want to use some of those tools or just take a couple of them or take the whole blueprint. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. So that's pretty much an overview. I think it's a little different than what you might see elsewhere. So I wanted to make sure that I gave that to you. And also, if you have any ideas for extra blueprints or tools that you want me to try, just let me know. Just go to marksemanski.co slash contact. Leave me a message there. I'd be happy to hear from you. But again, thank you so much for stopping by the website. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll talk to you very soon.